Today I'm going to show you how the threshold feature in Photoshop works. I've opened this image of this cute kitten, Finny, and over here in the layers panel, you can either click this half white, half black button and choose from the list threshold down here towards the bottom, or you can go to the adjustment panel and choose the threshold button here. It's on the bottom row, the middle button. So when I click that, it removes all of the color from the image except for white and black. I can change the way the image looks by moving this slider. So I want to bring out a little bit more of the detail in Finney's face. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to stop. The next thing that I'm going to do is add some color into this. So if I look over here in my layers panel, I have the background layer and then I have the adjustment layer that says threshold on it. Down here at the bottom, the second button over from the trash can is the new layer icon. I'm going to click that and I have this, it says layer one and it has a little checkerboard pattern on it. The checkerboard pattern symbolizes transparency. So even though we can't really see that there's a layer on top of this, it is there, it's just transparent. Now what I'm going to do is add a gradient on top of that. And I'm going to use the gradient tool from over here in the toolbox. So it's actually um, this button right here, kind of towards the middle. And any of these tools that has the little black triangle in the corner means that there's more tools grouped together. So if I click this, we can see that the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool share the same button. So if you're looking on the toolbox and you can't find the gradient tool, it might be because somebody has selected the paint bucket and it's there, you just can't see it. So I'm going to click the paint bucket to pop open the little menu on the side and choose the gradient tool. Right now, if I clicked and dragged the gradient, it would be black and white. I actually want it to be more colorful than that. So I'm going to go up here to the top where the menu is and I'm going to pop open this little box and I can choose um, a color that I like from the list. And if you want to see more options, you can pop this little arrow open on the side and you can add any of these that you like. I'm going to choose, uh, let's say this one. Now I have my cursor and I'm going to click and drag a line and this is going to place the gradient over the image. Our image temporarily disappears, but that's okay. We'll get it back in a minute. So I dragged that straight up and down. I can drag from corner to corner and it makes a diagonal. I can also change the type of gradient. So if I choose the second button over here up at the top menu, this is a radial gradient. So I'll click in the middle and drag to the side and now I have a circular gradient. Um, let's see here, the last one is a diamond gradient. I can choose that one if I like. I can um, reverse it here if I click this button. So instead of having green in the middle, it will reverse it and I'll have blue in the middle. But I actually liked the first option. So I'm going to take off reverse and I'm just going to click the plain linear gradient and I'm going to drag from top to bottom. Now that I have this, what I'm going to do is blend the gradient with the layer that's below it. And the way that I'm going to do that is go over here to the layers panel and this option menu right here where it says normal, I'm going to open that and I'm going to choose the second one down which is dissolve. So now that this is highlighted, here I can use my arrow keys to scroll through everything on the menu one thing at a time. So I'm going to arrow key down. This is what darken looks like. This is multiply, not much change. Color burn, don't want that one. Linear burn, looks the same. Darker color, ooh, lighten makes a really interesting difference. 
So I'm just going to scroll through these one at a time and just choose the one that I like the best. So the last one on the list is Luminosity. Obviously I'm not going to choose that one since it made everything gray. I think um, I actually this time am going to stick with, I like lighter color. That looks um, nice. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Threshold, and just Team. And I'm going to save it as a, a Photoshop document so that I can still have my layers, and if I ever want to come back and alter this in the future, I'll still have that file available. But I also want to put one on the website, so I'm going to File, Save As, and I'll leave the title the same, but change it to a JPEG, and click Save, and I'm going to make the quality 6, which is a medium size, and click OK. Now I am ready to go to my Google site and make a new post under my Photoshop section and put in my before and after threshold images. That's it for now.